sister Skygo here and today um I'm doing a toy review 2019. I haven't done this in I think about a year. Pretty sure a year. I'm pretty sure that was before actually. Yeah. Well the only reason why I'm doing this is because I have nothing to record at the moment. I'm trying to get some games but at the moment it's like blah and all that. So the two I'm starting off with of course I've showed you guys this before is Freddy as you can see and then Chica as you can see. Uh, I got these for Christmas time I think about three years ago. They're pretty dusty. They were in a box but um I kinda lost the boxes after like a while and all that. So yeah. But if another thing does, um if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. And yeah, so these are my top uh not my top but yeah. I'm starting by the way guys, I'm starting off with the hard toys and then I'm gonna go with the toys and boxes and I'll take them out of the box and everything. Which I am a collector, like a collectible and all that. And a lot of the collectors are like, no, don't have the box, don't have the box, what are you doing? Don't worry people, okay? I got this. Some of the boxes actually kind of ripped as well, just a little. But yeah, and another thing is I'm trying to clean my toys at the moment. I should actually start off the boxes. I'm going to start off the boxes actually. So yeah, so this is uh, Bonnie Chica. I'm going to pause this and go and clean them. So the next one that I'll be reviewing is of course Chucky and he's on his car, which I'll go ahead and open it so just give me a second so i know most of you guys would know this but i'm a huge huge chucky fan which brad um dolph is, is coming to sydney australia with his daughter and i really want to go meet them okay but yes this is chucky on the car and this is from child to play 2 as you see he has like his like a little knife there his legs are missing on the back which that's cool the other thing is i just watched toy story 4 i almost cried at the end okay the, the ending should never happen but yeah, so this is Chucky, um, I'm gonna go and clean him in his box, and we'll go on to the next toy. Quick, and the thing I want to mention about Chucky here, I got him for my birthday last year. For my birthday. So, yeah, cheers. Next person on the lift list is Tiffany, of course. You know, the bride of Chucky. The lovely Tiffany and all that. I'll get her out of the box in just a second. But I just want to say another quick thing. I found her at JB High Five. Um... It was amazing, I just was like, I had to buy her, not nah, screw what I was gonna, else I was gonna buy, I need to buy her. So I brought her completely, and she's amazing. But one of the collections I seriously, seriously want, because I want a life-size Chucky, like from the seeds of Chucky, I want Tiffany, like a life-size Tiffany, and then I also want, um, Glenn, which I also want a pop figure of Glenn. That's all I want, for Glenn Dot, whatever. So let me open her and I'll show you what's up. So here she is, she looks like she's wearing my formal dress, but that's alright. <laughs> well, I look like I'm wearing hers. So yeah, this is completely Tiffany. I love how she's got the little heart on her, like, very goodly detail and all that. And how she's got, like, the little mole going. But yeah, there's nothing much about Tiffany, so I'm gonna go and move on to the next toy. I just realised something, and out of all the Chucky movies, right? Oh, well, actually, out of all any serial killer kind of movies, Chucky was probably the first serial killer movie that actually got away with actually killing and all that, I guess. If you get what I mean? So yeah, make it, moving on anyway. So next thing, uh, bleh, bleh. next thing we're moving on to is Kevin Smith. If you guys don't know who Kevin Smith is, go and watch Jay, Jay and Silent Bob, okay? Go and watch Jay and Silent Bob and you'll understand who Kevin Smith is. He plays a Silent Bob, which he's my complete favorite character. But this is just a little figure of him. He's amazing. I love him. But yeah, I'll open him up so you guys can just take a look around. It's pretty heavy for a figure, not gonna lie. But um, to everyone who does not know who Kevin Smith is, uh, go go and check out the movie and all that. But comment below if you actually know what the movie is and what other movies he's from. But yeah, that's uh, basically all about it because none of you guys know who this is. Oh wait, I got it for Christmas, okay? That's about it. So the next character is Aquaman, of course. I got Aquaman as a gift, like it was just a random gift, like he had it, I didn't want it anymore. But yes, as you can see, he's a bit shiny, but I'll open up and let you guys see Aquaman. So here he is. Aquaman has not been like one of my top fair characters. Actually, you know what I'm thinking about? I think this is the, actually the first time I'm actually holding Aquaman. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, Aquaman has not not been like one of my top fair, like characters in the DC universe like 
Mine's probably always been like kind of more, more like I'm, I'm a Batman man person, you know. But I've been more in Marvel, like Spider Man, like you know. I know a lot of people probably get triggered here. Let me put him here. But I never actually seen the new Spider Man with Tom Holland yet because as soon as I saw that, I'm like, nah, not not Tobey Maguire, not Andrew Garfield, nah. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I love Tobey Maguire, Tobey Maguire, mwah. so that's why I refuse to see the new Spider Man movie because it's just. Like, if, uh, if Toby comes back, I'll be like, yes. He looks so weird though, it's like, do you mind? This is my video, get out of my way. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's move on to the next toy. I just had a thought, what if Merman Man and Barnacle Boy did a team up movie? You know what I really want? I'm oh, sorry, I have to say, you know what I really want? I still, okay, I have like the whole entire Toy Story collection. But the characters I never had was the clown in part three. And I never had Bo Peep, and I want Bo Peep. So yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next toy. I guess we can move on to another doll. Yes, I'm a doll person, and I got Annabelle. Now Annabelle is from my friend Alex. Thank you, Alex. Uh, she's a special edition, if you can see. And um, yeah, so I don't particularly need to clean her because she's already been like pretty clean and all that. She's brand new. Got her last month for my birthday. So yeah, this is about it for uh, Annabelle. Plus, I don't want to open that, so. Yeah. Anyway, this is this is all you can see. She's pretty cool, but yeah. I feel like I need to do these two in the pack, but I got Terrence and Philip, of course, from South Park, one of my most favorite childhood shows from growing up. And I still love it, which I'm trying to rewatch them on Netflix at the moment, so so yeah, Terrence and Philip, I love these characters. They actually should like make the actual Terrence and Philip movie in the South Park movie. I thought that would be awesome, but yeah, anyway, this is Terrence and Philip. I will go ahead and open up for you guys. Oh my god, I'm falling. Okay, bye. As you can see, these guys are bowl heads. I got them about two years ago for uh, Christmas, but yeah. Hey, hello, Pip. Hello, <laughs> damn it. I can't really do their voices. But yeah, they're pretty cool characters. I love them. Mwah. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to clean these. Go moving on to the next one. Okay, so the next one I'm reviewing is another one that I'm not going to open, but um, I have opened them before, and it's it from It Chapter 2. He is in another special edition on his board. If you're wondering, if you guys haven't seen it, chapter two, you understand what it means. It says, "Won't b b be there for hi him either." So basically, that's a quote from um, for Billy about losing his brother Georgie. But yeah, so uh, he's pretty cool. You can get all these other ones on the back here. Like, sorry, because my focus is pretty bad. <laughs> it's just Pennywise, Pennywise with a balloon, or Pennywise Funhouse. I really want to get the Pennywise from part one, where he has a pole sticking out of his head, like, I really want that. So if any of you guys have that, please, I'll, I'll do a trade for you on these ones. I have one where I will review very soon, where I will love to seriously trade, because I don't completely want it. I will actually sign it if you want me to as well. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Another thing I just want to quickly point out, I got, I just brought him as well. So, yeah trying to remember what, how I brought him, but never mind. I, I just brought him, yeah, so, moving on. So now I'm viewing, if you guys have not seen American Horror Story, this is from American Horror Story, Fiona Good, um, I'm, this is another one I'm not gonna open, but here's all the other characters you can get, you can get Fiona Good, Cl Cordelia Fox, Maureen Lavia, uh, Myrtle Snow, Misty Days, and Papa Legba, but, um, yeah, so, She's pretty cool. She comes with her own plate, so comments down below if you guys, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. But comments down below if you want me to take her out of the box and put her on the plate, or just want me to keep her in the box. So yeah, comments below. I'm not going to take her out because this is another one I got for my birthday. But yeah, so moving on to the next one, I guess. So moving on to the like small ones is coming with the daubs. And this is the one I want to give away. So, he's from Guardians Galaxies. Um, he plays as uh, that guy. Uh, yeah. I've never seen Guardians Galaxy. So, if you're wondering why I brought that, I had $2 on my card left. And I saw him and I'm like, yeah, I'll buy him. And then, yeah, I'm just like, nah. But there's other characters on there. The only favorite character is probably the raccoon guy, whatever his name is. Rocket. Rocket, that's his name. Somehow I actually remember his name. But yeah, so if you guys want this one, uh, comments down below, uh, I'll contact you and um, I'll send those away and sign it. So yeah, I'm going to clean them and moving on. So this is what he also looks like out of his box and everything. So 
So yeah, he's pretty cool. He has a blood spot there. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. So the next ones that are coming up, I'm not going to take them out of the box because the box, one of the boxes are breaking, but I don't want to take them out. They've been with me since 2007. I was about three years old when I got these. And these are Future Armor, uh, Bender of Fry. I've always wanted the entire collection. You could get Leela and Zoeberg. That's about that seriously about it. But as you can see, like, you see how light, like, it, like, see how the front is like all light? It's because it's been out of the sun for so long. Like, well, not sitting in the sun, but with the light reflecting from the window because it's been sitting there for so long. So yeah. I'm not taking out of the box once again, but I'll let you guys look around and see them. They they are bubble heads as well. Um, they do have um other things written in the back if you guys want to read that. Uh, you guys can try. Sorry about the focus, I guess. Oh god, fry yeah, fry fry is a bit breaky, but yeah. So um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try clean these boxes or fry or break. But yeah, anyway, moving on to next. By the way, another thing when I was younger, um, I uh, I always like my then I always like my if I could play with her. She's always like, no, you can't play them. We're gonna break them. I'm gonna stand though. But yeah, so this is how long they actually mean to come me because they've just been with me for a long time. So I'm doing another two reviews, and the coon and Mysterio from the uh, fractured butthole episode or game, whatever that you want to say. I will take these two out so you guys completely see them, but yeah, I, and then I'll tell you another story about these two. So, these these are what they are out of the box, but um, I think it was, uh, it might have been Mysterio um, that I remember coming back because I just brought um, him from the shops and my neighbor next door, he they had like a bigger version of Mysterio. I'm pretty sure it was Mysterio. I can't remember if it was, it was at least the Colonel of Mysterio. I'm pretty sure it was Mysterio. And they really wanted like the small figure of him because they, I think they had the Coon as the small figure and they had all the other collections as a small figure, but they didn't have Mysterio because he was very hard to find at the time. And I come back and my because my neighbor like play all me. They're like, what's in, what's in what's in the bag? And I'm like, nothing. Oh, and I showed them and I. like, I'll swap you. I'll give you twenty dollars. I'm like, no. Bye. 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 <laughs> but yeah, so this is uh the coon, as you can see. I love his cave. That's like the coon always reminds me of Delirious in a way. And then mysterious Kenny. Kenny is always like my top favorite character. So he's Kenny uh, Cartman. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I was always Stan, Kenny, Cartman, and Kyle. I don't know. It was always a top spot between. These two, but yeah, I didn't realize until just now because I don't look at them. I don't look at them. I just call them that they have writing on the side of who they are. Like I seriously have never read it, and I should read it later. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you. Uh, by the way, that's all the boxes that I have. But I'm gonna show you all the little mini figures that I have, and moving on. So one well, the next ones I'm gonna review. I have to be careful because if I go like this, you'll talk. Yeah, so this is basically just Ted. He's uh, talking to the bobblehead. He doesn't shut up, by the way. But um, his uh, box is coming a little dead, if you can't hear it properly. And this is just a watch. Yeah, just, just, just a basic watch. And yeah, so he's pretty cool. I love him. I remember I got him for my birthday, I think about two, three years ago now. But yeah, yeah on to the next toy. Another thing I love about Ted, I love Seth MacFarlane as well. So the next one I'm reviewing is another Final Fantasy Phrase one. This is uh, Chica. I got her after the day of Jamboree we went to. Um, yeah, so I came home and I brought her. She's pretty cool, but she's very loose. When I when I first brought her and got her out of the box, she's just completely loose. Like, she just breaks up very easily. But yeah, she's a pretty cool character. I love her, Nightmare Chica. Final Fantasy Phrase 4 is probably like, one of the most scariest games. I love how she's got the cupcake and the, like... Let's eat and all that, but yeah, anyway, moving on to the next one. So the next one I'm reviewing, they do definitely mean a lot to me. Hold on. Um, this guy. 
Yes, I got one of the stat figures from the Tube Heroes back in 2015. And yeah, so I remember when I first saw him. I saw him in Toys R Us, this one. And I freaked the hell out. And I really wanted him, so I got him. And yeah. Another one's uh, Sky. I can't remember which Sky, because I don't. I get like the Tube Hero Sky, like the little helpful Sky. Got Ant Venom. But then. But then I got the two else guys. One of them was a gift, and the other one I just brought because I, uh, yeah, I bought. I lost the glasses. I know, I hate myself for losing the glasses. But yeah, they both mean a lot to me. His legs are a bit loose, just to point that out. I do got the uh, other figures to him over there, like the sword, the shield, and all that, the apple. But yeah, so they do mean a lot to me, and. I had completely the entire collection of tube heroes. The one I never had was like the little other minifigures you get from like the barrels. If any of you guys have a sky figure of that, please. I need them to stay alive. I just need sky. That, that's, that's my sky wall, by the way. All this fan art behind me, like over there and over here, it's just all sky's Minecraft, okay? Or no, nobody, or Adam Dolberg, whatever. So yeah, um, moving on to the next one, I guess. Uh, they're pretty cool collections, the other ones. I like them. So the next ones I'm reviewing, I'm reviewing one by one, so, um, actually no, I'll do two, I'll go do one, and another one, and then two twos, okay? You can understand. So, I got Pennywise. Yes, okay. I love, uh, watching it. I love the original one as well, if you're wondering. But yes, I got two Pennywises, um, oh, where did I put the box? Oh, here's the box. Um, I don't have the exclusive one of Pennywise. But out, out of, um, so out of this one, out of 1 out of 12 people in the world own this Pennywise and all that, pretty cool. Uh, hold on, let, 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 let me uh, focus it for you guys. I'm gonna focus. I am not here. Okay, fine, don't focus. And then for this one, let me move him out of the way. For this one, out of 1 out of 6, Six people in the world actually have him, and that's pretty actually awesome that I actually have him as a character. So let me put these guys over here. Uh, the next, so the next ones I'm going to show you um, is the little boy uh, from the It Chapter Two. Um, he's an exclusive. Out of one out of twelve people in the world actually have him. He's pretty cool. I love how detailed these like characters are. The little boy from this, I, I forgot his name, but I end up tagging him saying, look what I got and all that. And he's like, I'm still looking one for one of them. He commented on my thing, which is pretty awesome. So thanks. I would send you one, but this is the exclusive one. No one. I'm sorry. But yeah, so he's cool. And then another one I want to show you is Ben. Ben, is, it's so amazing. I'm oh, sorry you can't see. Um, you see that black scribble? That says Beverly Marsh, and if anyone's wondering, that's pretty cool. And it's got like the black dots on top. So he's cool. The like he has a private account. Like I, I believe it's actually fake. He was trying to like, I think he was trying to hack into my account and all that and weirdo. But um, yeah. So I'm still waiting for him to text me back because I said how because he's like he asked my for my phone number. I'm like. How can I make sure that you're actually- Please go away, this is annoying me, there's a thing in my way. How can I tell that if you're, like, faking a lot, hasn't emailed me back? So, yeah, so that's basically Ben. Um, the last two I'm gonna completely show you. My favourite ones as well. Henry, the older Henry Bowles, which he's pretty cool. I love how he's got his, like, old knife and how scary he is. But, uh, hello. See, oh yeah, one out of twelve people own this one, so that's pretty cool. But which he's not my favorite. But I know Henry. No, Henry fell. My most favorite one is probably this one. Uh, Nick uh, Nick Hamilton actually has this one, and he's also Australian, so respect the Australians. So uh, he's pretty cool. He's my most top favorite one. I love him because uh, I out of like out of it. Uh, it's always there's Eddie Kasparak and then Henry Bowles is my top favorite characters. Um, out of one out of 72 people in the world actually have this Henry Bowers, and as, because me and my friend are having a competition to see who, because we really wanted just this Henry Bowers, 
um, to see who would get this. Because I brought three of them that day. Um, I brought, I got the It one, the other Henry Bowles. I'm like, oh, look, I got the other Henry Bowles. And as soon as I opened this one, I'm like, I won. <laughs> but yeah, so he's pretty cool. And one of the most, uh, the lastest collections I want to show you. So this is from the Mark Tool when I went last year. Pretty amazing. Uh, that's about it for that. Uh, <laughs> don't want to get into that. But these I had since 2012. This is a tattoo of One Direction since 2012. Like the fake tattoos. It's legit. This is 2012. You can't really see it. But yeah. So I had this since 2012. And then um, another thing I had since. These are mint. I think that yeah. This um got them in 2013. And then inside of it. Oh, uh, my battery's dying, hold on. Let me turn that off. Oh my god, I can't open this thing. Oh, but I totally didn't use my teeth. The little badger Niles. He's pretty cute. One Direction apparently is coming back next year, and I swig off his thought I'm burning the entire world. Anyway, so that's about it for uh, the tour review. Um, I will show you my, my setup I have here. In just a second so so this is basically my new setup now because I just uh, finished it uh, let me move some of the things in my way but yeah um pretty cool new setup I guess um oh. yeah so that's basically about it my whole toy collection and all that and yeah and it's a pretty long video too so I hope you guys enjoy this video uh please drop a like I actually know. Don't forget to slap the like button in the face. Come like, subscribe, and talk to you. Oh, and next up, peace out. Bye bye.